Good evening. Welcome to a very special episode of So in the Bourbon. Charlie, this is where I would usually ask you, what are we doing tonight? But you don't know. You have oh, is, no idea. Is that you? This is going to start out as a blind episode, and you'll find out what we're drinking later. Okay, so I picked up this bottle the other day. I'm just kind of excited about it. And I wanted to do a little blind with Charlie. I want to just kind of clean the, cleanse the palate here and let's just taste something and know something without any knowledge or information on it and see what your thoughts are. And then we'll tell you all about it. I love blinds because I love being made to look a fool. I, that is not my goal. This is... Strictly scientific. Strictly. I have never tasted this whiskey. Um, I don't know if you have or not. I haven't. I, I wouldn't know because I didn't tell you what it was. Well, I haven't asked. Well, so Glenn, let me tell you. Tell me your thoughts. I'm gonna just. It has to be quiet. It it it, it has a uh, translucent amber color. It appears to be of some alcohol. Yeah. It puts a very nice ring around the glass, and it does have some nice uh, little legs there. It does. I'm going to nose. Mm. An interesting funk, I would say. Yeah, you think? I, I, would, I would say. We haven't used that word in a while, have well, we? Well, this has it. This has a little bit of that funk. I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say it's a... Wheated funk, <laughs> but there is a little funkiness there. A little bit of ethanol on the nose. There's a little ethanol, a little corn, a little corn. It's a little yeah, a little corn forward. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put some of this. Would you say there. this is a pleasant nose? Would you say it's um, an interesting nose, or do you not like it? What do you think? It, you know, it's a nose. It's okay, a, it's a nose. <laughs> Being very let's, shifty. Let's Hold. taste. Yeah, let's taste. Hmm. A lot of sweet corn. Anything else? A um, little Maybe. bit of that Kentucky hug going down. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's, to me, it's a little, it's a little grainy. Uh, it's got that second drink. I get that maltiness. Uh huh. That kind of grainy, malty. And I get the sweet corn. It's a little hot. It is a little hot. It, first sip was all corn. Second sip was almost all grain. The corn was kind of on the finish. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of spice. There's a little at spice. The end, isn't there? At the very, very end. Like after you've drank and you think it's over, there's a little bit of that tingle on your tongue. How's the finish? Uh, short. It's short. Not it, does, a lot it, of... it doesn't stick around long. Yeah. Um, I don't get really any oakiness. Just a tinge, but not, it's definitely, it's not a, a super aged mm -hmm. whiskey. Yeah, third drink, a lot of that malty, grainy. Hmm. To me, it's gotten a little, a little more rounded out on the third taste. There's a little yeah. bit of like a chocolate malt coming through. Yeah. It, if it wasn't for that first drink mm -hmm. where I got sweet corn, which maybe that was just my mind playing tricks mm -hmm. on me, I would almost say that this is an American malt whiskey. But I get I, that. I, I get do that. I do feel like there is some corn in there. But it, it it's it's very malty. It's it's a little complex, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like you said, the the first initial taste mm -hmm. was pretty sweet like corn forward right. pretty sweet but it's it's really balanced out it reminds me a little bit of the yellowstone american mm -hmm. single malt that we we drank which was a little on the sweeter side of those american single malts and if you haven't watched our american single malt episode you should it's very good this reminds me of that 
should I have you rate it before we disclose what it is? Or should we disclose and talk about what it um, is first? I mean, I, I, I have no problem in rating it at the current. Now, full disclosure. This is our fourth episode we filmed tonight. It we is. have drank some monster bottles tonight. We some really have. Really, some really, really good, good and really complex and really interesting bottles. So my palate is not... You know what, Charlie? I don't want you to rate this before okay. you know what it is. Because you have no idea what the price point is. You have no idea what the availability is. But I can take those things out of consideration. I know, but I, I, don't, I don't feel like that's fair. Okay, whatever you feel so is we're fair. So we're going to After all, I have a, is blind. a big reveal. All right, here it comes. We're going to remove the veil. Oh, a little French lick. French lick. Four grain bourbon. Lee W. Sinclair, four years old, 100 proof, corn, wheat, oats, and barley. Well, look at that. Yeah, so this is Spirits of French Lick. Um, right here in Indiana. This is a bottled and bond, aged four years, of course. 100 proof. Four grain. It makes sense now. Yeah, so it makes the mash total bill, sense. The funny thing is, mash bill 60 corn, 17 rye, 13 oats, and 10 caramel malt, which. We love caramel. I, I do. We? I really do. And it makes sense on that first drink. Oh, a lot of corn. And then it's like, ooh, that maltiness palate kind of wakes up. I, I, I like this. I will tell you a funny story. I have had a couple of people tell me, boy, you got to start drinking mm -hmm. spirits of French Lake. You got French Lake is doing great things. And do you know what has kept me from holding out? What? I got too many dang bottles from too many dang small distilleries and I can't, I don't have any right. more room for love right. in my heart right now. And I know that this is what's going to happen right. because I have a special place in my heart for small distilleries, especially Indiana distilleries. And now you've gone and screwed it up. So I will say this is the first time I've had anything from French Lick and I was kind of honestly I thought, eh, French Lick Distillery, they've got a winery, mm -hmm. they're just putting stuff together. But I, I have seen Fred Manis, a big fan mm -hmm. of French Lick, which I really haven't let that influence me at all. I was just in a liquor store the other day and I was trying to find something and this was really up. Like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to try it. It's bottled in bond, bottled it's bond. four grain. Can't be bad. Um, so then I got home, I started doing some research on it and Alan Bishop is the master distiller there. Um, there's a lot, of, there's a lot to talk about, um, with this distillery. They, they're kind of, I don't want to say experimental, but no, that's the word you think. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so. that's the word I, I've, I have actually, um, been at an event where he has spoke. Okay. And they are very experimental and they are very uh, protective of what they do and how they do it. They are going to make what they want. And by they, I mean he. And like it or not, buy it or not, but they're making bourbon for themselves that they know is good and, and they think you'll like it so too. So here's what I love about this. Once again, it's, it's mostly grain to glass. Um... Alan has created his own hybrid of, <laughs> of heirloom corn. What's not grain to glass, what they don't grow themselves, they source it from Indiana farms. So you gotta love that. Double pot stilled. You know what? We're not gonna go, we're not gonna, you can go to. French Lick <laughs> Distillery. <laughs> we're gonna edit this out. Fourth episode, folks. No, we're not. We're leaving it in. Let me tell you something, because <laughs> that I'm being 100% genuine. We didn't know that. I didn't know he was going to do this. I didn't know he was going to pick this bottle. I have had some French Lick stuff before. Okay. I've had some of their single barrels. They do have single barrel leases here in Indiana and I believe in Kentucky. And it's great stuff. It, it's really good stuff. It's priced right. And it's hard not to be romantic, and we just did an episode about another small distillery in Indiana called West Fork, 
And I just got done saying, and I'm going to say it in this episode because this is a small distillery episode, when you go to a Heaven Hill or a Buffalo Trace or a Four Roses, you're another body through the turnstile, you're another dash on a spreadsheet. When you go someplace like French Lake and you have the opportunity to talk to the actual master distillers and the brand ambassadors and, and the, the people that work there and make that product, that matters and it matters to them and it matters to you and you get the opportunity to build relationships and have a better understanding of what you're buying and that makes everything more fun. So I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna do it because I wanna be fair to the spirits of French Lake. I'm gonna read directly from my notes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this distillery. So it's located in West Baden, which is just outside of French Lake. They connect. Who is the most famous person from French Lake, Indiana? Larry Bird, Larry Legend, go. the Bird Man. So this is an outgrowth of French Lake Winery. Uh, they focus on four pillars of distilling, bourbon, brandy, botanical spirits, and American whiskey. All good things. So locally, they lead the industry by being the largest pot still distillery in the state of Indiana. That's a huge deal because it if is. you've been to a local distillery or any distillery, you know most of them have switched to column stills. Yes, they have. So they create pre-prohibition style products and distill them in a method consistent with their historical counterparts. Their wheat and corn are cultivated in the Hoosier Homestead designated farming using sustainable farming practices. And Spirits of French Lick prides itself on using local Indiana products when not sourcing directly from our farm. Indiana proud, baby. Who, who, Hoosiers. Let me tell you something. Lower entry proofs into the barrel. Oh. Lower char barrels during oh, I do maturation. Like, I do like that. And like toasted it. staves and heads. Well, I do like a lower char. Now go ahead. No, I was going to say, would that bottle set you back? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 49.99. Find me another four grain bottled in bond. It's hard to Not find. Not many out there. Not many out there. It's hard to find four grain bourbon. Really is. This is a good one. I'm glad you did this one. I, I, I like this one. I do too. I was close on this one. You got to admit. It's different. It's you, different. You, you were very I, close. I was, you I picked was, out the, the, you kind of sniffed out the mash bill there, didn't you? Almost. I was like, yeah, it's you a single malt. It. It's four grain, you dumb, <laughs> stupid moron. I, I like this. Um, I definitely think now we're going to have to do another episode on another. We'll, we'll track down. I'll, we'll track down a single barrel and we'll, we'll do another French Lick episode and, and give it its proper. Very episode. interesting. It's an interesting. Yeah, I like it. And what's cool, um, French Lick, Starlight, Westfield are all there. Um, Hard Truth is another in Bloomington. You could do four hellacious distilleries that are making some awesome bourbon and stay right here in the southern and central part of the state. Yes, you can. That's why we're called So Into Bourbon, because we are located in southern Indiana. Who, who? who we love bourbon. We and do. whiskey. We do. We really do. Glenn, Let's end this before we go completely off the rails. We're already there. Blind episodes are fun to do with your friends. This is the stuff you should be doing. Um, number one, you should like and subscribe and mash that bell button on the screen so you get notifications when we put out hard-hitting episodes like this. Tell them about our socials, Glenn. So in the Bourbon on Instagram. So in the Bourbon on Facebook. And Whiskey Realtor on TikTok. And the most sure. important thing, people, is you have to remember, it's hot outside, so keep your bungholes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. I'm blind. <laughs> We're going to get canceled. We can't really be canceled. We have no fun. It would be actually amazing. <laughs> oh, I can get us canceled. Watch this. Oh. That was terrible. <laughs> the word I'm looking for. Um, I don't know. This was your episode. <laughs> I love this. He's watching me struggle. I am just watching. <laughs> He's watching feet. me twist in the wind. Kick your feet. <laughs> there starlight. That's what I literally said. Starlight. <laughs> French Lick. Fourth episode. Starlight. French Lick. Hard Truth. West Fork. Ready. Charlie. No vision.
action. Should I take my glasses off? Oh my gosh. No, I need... I Do you, are you reading the notes? Other way. Look the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna need them. <laughs> How are you talking about what it is? That was a bad episode. It was not, it was a good episode. Action. <laughs>